Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So today I'm gonna to be showing you actually how to clean a muskrat skull. It's gonna be pretty similar to the beaver skull if you remember that, uh, but everything's just gonna be a little quicker for it. So we have our crock pot here, just filled up with some water and then some dish soap, or you can use laundry detergent. So for the beaver skull, I actually use Dawn dish soap. For this, I'm actually using Glad detergent. So just trying something a little bit different, seeing if it works any better. For the muskrat skull here, I'm actually on my way out, so I'm just gonna have it working while I'm away. So I don't wanna get nasty. I actually have these frozen. So we have the skull right here, nothing too big. I just throw the crock pot on low. You don't want it to be going too aggressive. And we'll just go ahead, set that right in there. And yeah, we'll go ahead, leave it in there for probably two hours. That's when I'll be back and I'll be able to show you guys kind of what it looks like then. Hopefully it'll be ready to go for getting all the stuff cleaned off of it. And we'll move on to the next step. Got the muskrat skull right here. I'll go ahead and take it out. Just like that. So we didn't take off any extra meat or anything like that. It's just the plain skull just tossed right into the crock pot. That's what it looks like when it comes out. So we'll go ahead and start pulling away all the excess meat and stuff like that that we can. So we just have the nice clean skull. Muskrat skull all cleaned up. We actually did end up just from it boiling in there went ahead and cracked this side uh, from where I touched it, it just basically shattered right off. So with these smaller skulls, you gotta be very careful and only keep them in the crock pot for a little while or else they start to break apart. And then the nose cap we have right here, which is not a problem. We can go ahead and super glue that right back in there. So for the hydrogen peroxide mix, you wanna make sure that you have it very uh, low dosage. So what I typically do is the 3% hydrogen peroxide and then along with it, do about the same amount in just regular tap water. That way it's only a 1.5% solution. Go ahead, throw this in there on high for, I'd say start at 30 minutes and then check every 15 minutes after that. So that's what we'll go ahead and do just because being a muskrat skull, it's the easiest to clean, but it's also the hardest to get done correctly just because of how small it is. There's a lot of nooks and crannies and it just gets so brittle right away. So especially with the hydrogen peroxide mix, it really makes it very brittle. So you can't leave it in there too long. The lower jaw breaks apart into the two pieces after you get it done in the crock pot. They go together just like this and they sit just like that in the skull. So that's kind of what it looks like. We'll have that nose piece cap back in there. Hopefully it survives the hydrogen peroxide mix. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and come back to this once that's all said and done. The muskrat skull, after having it in the hydrogen peroxide, I'd say it was in there for about an hour which the solution that I did use was pretty diluted since I already had different skulls in there prior. So the 1.5% overall solution was actually probably not as strong. So we went ahead, took it out, and then washed it off with just water just to get all the peroxide off of it to make sure it doesn't keep eating away. With these small skulls, you really gotta be careful like with beaver skulls and raccoons, you can leave it in a lot longer to get it a lot more crisp. But with muskrats, they're just so small, the teeth really start giving away and all the other parts start getting really brittle. As you can see right here, that was actually broken during the initial boiling phase. But you can always help that actual problem by taking off as much meat as you can so that way you don't have to leave it in as long. So the bottom jaw is in two pieces and they look 
perfect and how they'll actually sit is like this. So the discoloration that's kind of right here, which is just slightly darker than white, it won't matter since it'll be stuck together like that. You'll never see it. Then on the actual skull, it looks just fine. There's nothing really blatant about it. And you can always put it in acetone as well if you're wanting to whiten it up even more. But I think this is just fine. So we'll actually go ahead and leave this to dry overnight. And then tomorrow, actually, we'll go ahead and apply the Mop and Glow solution to actually finish it up. We got the muskrat skull right here. The teeth all glued together and then the lower jaw together so it's all in one unit. Lastly, for prior to selling or displaying, you just need to apply the sealant, of which I just use Mop and Glow one step. So we'll go ahead and put this down. I just have a container that I don't really use for anything else. We'll go ahead and take the top and start just lathering it. with the mop and glow. It doesn't matter that there's an excess of amount because it's just dripping right off. Muskrats are pretty small, so they don't really use that much. Just make sure you get it up in that cavity right there and then down the nose. We'll let it dry, or not dry, drip off here for a second. And then we'll actually let it sit for the rest of the day just to dry off it'll give it a nice kind of glossy look to it and it'll also keep it all sealed so it'll keep it white for longer and pretty much done we'll go ahead and show you the final product here once this is all dried off the muskrat skull is all finished up now that we got the sealant on there, there's nothing else that it needs. You can always put it back into the hydrogen peroxide, but it won't work as well since it has sealant on it. So you always want to do that prior to. And yeah, I would say that's pretty much good. The only problem that we had is this eye cover right here broke apart, which is sad, but happens sometimes with some of these smaller animals you gotta be very careful with. So this would be ready to go and sell, or you can always put it on display as well if you're wanting to do something like that. A lot of people sell them at conventions or online. You just have to package it really well if you're shipping. I would say that this came out as a really good success. So if you guys ever want to do this for any of the animals that you have around you, I would say definitely go ahead and try. Always a good way to try to test it out on the animals. Uh, not worth as much, kind of like muskrats. Dime a dozen, you can find them everywhere compared to, you know, doing it on like a coyote skull. You want to be pretty fine tuned at this prior to doing that. As always, if you have questions, feel free to leave it down below. If you have any animals that you want me to go ahead and do next, leave them down there as well. I'll definitely give it a shot. And thank you for watching.